head of my life, um, who has shown me numerous things about myself and how to get closer to him. So I give honor to him first and foremost. Give honor to Pastor, yes. of course, who is an awesome shepherd and leader yes. of the house and members of the pulpit. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Yes. My yes. and all those present. I just want to thank God again for being here because he brought me here amongst a congregation who has a beautiful spirit, and I appreciate that. Yes. And um, one of the things that the Lord has shown me is how that he will answer our prayers. Yes. And one important thing that he let me know is that sometimes the prayers aren't answered when yes. you're in the throw of a huge prayer, praying hard, rolling yes. around. Sometimes he talks to you when you're in a quiet moment. Yes. Amen. Sometimes those quiet moments is when he can talk to you because yes. you can hear him. Amen. And sometimes we say to ourselves, why hasn't God answered our prayers? When the truth of the matter is, he's answered us, Amen. but we may not want to hear what the answer is. Amen. So we need to, we, me and me, but I'm sure everybody else can hear, can relate too. Amen. We need to learn to listen to his words okay. and, and hear the real answer, which may not be what we wanted to hear. Amen. Because sometimes we could have a disaster in our life, but really yes. that disaster is not disaster, it's a slight detour. Amen. Because sometimes we go through things to make us. Yes. Make us into the people that the Lord wants us to be, for one. Or we go through things so that the Lord can use us in a particular circumstance. So I take those opportunities when I'm struggling to say, well, Lord, I thank you for doing that nevertheless. And I follow the scripture where it says, and uh, always acknowledge him. Right. And when he said always acknowledge him, that doesn't mean just mean in my financial situation. Right. That means when I'm down, acknowledge yes. the Lord. Yes. Acknowledge the Lord. When I'm yes. struggling, acknowledge the Lord. When I'm in yes. trouble, acknowledge him nevertheless. Yes. Why? Because he's there with me. Right. Yes. And in all states, I should be content and not be ungrateful. Right. Just because things aren't going well, yes. just because I'm not on the, the mountaintop all the time, I should still be content because he's there with me too. Yes. And he'll bring me out if I let him. He'll bring me out every time if I let, if I let the Lord do half his way. Yes. And that's important because this, these weapons of warfare are important for us. This is a yes. war out there. Yes. You know, we need to prepare ourselves. Yes. Not just live for the, the profits that the world offers us, yes. but live so that we can live again. Yes. And yes. the word also says that narrow is the way. Yes. That leads to heaven. Yes. Which means yes. we have to prepare ourselves for war. It's not going to be comfortable. Yes. God has us here for a reason. Right. So few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. Yes. Yes. Everybody's called, right? Everybody but the, the question is, are you yes. going to say yes to that calling? Yes. Am I willing to humble myself and do what the Lord says? Yes. Am I willing to be Come that on. vessel that he can Come use? Yes. I want to be like Abraham. Yes. I want to be like Isaac, those who stood tall. Yes. I want to be like David, yes. who was humble, but he had wrongs, but he stood tall with the yes. dependable. Yes. So we, we, if we want to be chosen, we need to be willing to say yes to the Lord for That's whatever right. it is. Whatever it takes, Lord, I'll do your will. Whatever it takes, I'll go here. Yeah. Whatever it takes, I'll do what your will is because that's what's going to be pleasing to God. Right. And if we praise him and thank him, even though we're down now, yeah. he'll be in the midst of that too. Yeah, but the thing is, he doesn't want us to think that he doesn't hear us because he hears everything. Yeah. Yes, he knows that he doesn't have a short memory. So we don't have to beg for stuff. We don't have to ask repeatedly. Just ask, thank him, and move on because that shows our faith. That's right. It shows our faith and it shows that's lack thereof. Right. But I want to be that vessel that has faith in God. Oh, faith yes. that he will be able to bring me out. Faith yes. that he'll be oh, able to do whatever yes. I do. Oh, and you know what? My oh, ultimate goal is to be pleased oh, in his sight. Yes. Be pleased yes. and be that vessel that's oh, usable. Yes. Not just walking around. Yes. You know, for sure. Yes. I want to be humble. I want to be yes. on my knees crying out. Oh, Lord, oh, use me yes. too. Yes. And work it out. Oh, and do whatever you want yes. me to do. Yes. Because that's what I'm here for. Yes. Not for the show. Yes. Not for the you know okay. socialization. Okay. Not for my job to have them pleased. But my goal is to have him pleased. Right. And if I do that, everything's going to be all right. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. 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 Yes.